Has anything important occurred? What is the important occurrence? Yes. I agree. We should go to the Mac Guy Mansion and grab as many fools as possible to assist. Yes. This is the Mac Guy Mansion, my regular house. Let's knock. Hello, Mac Guy 3135. I thought you were on a Scottish holiday. I was. Unfortunately, the foolish creatures brought something vitally important to my species to my attention. Oh dear, why are you always interrupted when away? What concerns them? It was the letter I got from Ananamus. The empires may well join forces and become a more dangerous power. We need everyone here willing to fight to assist. Oh dear. Let me in then you fish. I agree. Attention everyone. What? is going on? I require assistance to help defeat a potential imperial coalition. What coalition? I got a letter from a fool named Ananamus about the PC and Linux empires expanding and maybe even collaborating. Oh dear, and you want our help? I agree. I need everyone who can assist to come with me. I will rob Jasmine and Jane. How tall? We can probably use this. My wife and I will assist. All of us are sadly too old to come with you, but we wish you good luck. My husband died going on your silly adventures. I will stay right here if you don't mind. Not that he was much used to any of us before, but never mind.
What the fool are you doing here? Octagon! A useful answer. I disagree. I was being sarcastic, you fish. Oh. I totally forgot to bring an octagon! Look at the bloody sign you are holding. How eight-sided. Oh, man! Get out of my way. Now, octagon is an amazing shape that has eight fantastic sides and eight awesome angles. We are off to defeat an interplanetary coalition. Stand aside or we will simply push you in the portal and ensure you get lost on the other side. Oh, man! Linus Sebastian, what the utter total fish are you doing here? I wanted PCs. How did you know there were PCs here, you spying fish? I have a large empire of a media group with many smart employees, and I will do anything for PCs. I need some tech tips, and I'll prepare to search the universe for them. You idiot. You can let the door open to Maxi and it will get blown up by humans. Do you realize what you are doing here? I don't know. It seems you have quite a few humans with you as well. Who even are you? Some alien? You two look like aliens as well. You must be a foot taller than me. I can tell on all you right now and expose this planet. You'll be frozen in the museum. Well, at least the alien and the two giants. Oh, sod. Why the fool are you even so bloody annoyed at me for spreading alien life to Maxi when you are already doing it on Earth? I was exiled there, you fool. Oh, blast. Who did that? The PC guys. Who are those and why are they named that? They sound like an important name for myself and my tech tips. Another type of alien, who migrated to Maxi some years back when their own planet became uninhabitable. They are named that because they like PCs. Oh, those things. I have heard of them and their powerful PCs. What happened to the planet? A large amount of methane was released into the atmosphere of their native planet. Is methane dangerous to them? Yes. And why are you returning to the planet? They are in talks with another empire. This one concerning the Linux operating system. We think these empires have a chance of joining forces, which in turn will likely spell the end of my species. Oh dear, I despise Linux. Also, in case you wanted PCS, we are on a quest that involves combating and potentially defeating the PC Guy Empire, with a large treasure trove of PCS. As these are unimportant to us, you may obtain them as a reward for assisting us on our quest and not telling on us or the planet. Interesting. That is a deal. I shall go then. What is this turning for? It is the turning to the Robbie Rotten Fortress. Who lives in the Robbie Rotten Fortress? Robbie Rotten, you fool. Ah. Is he useful? He is a fool, but also a fish. That makes him perfect for this adventure. Follow me. but Robbie Rotten and his song. Well, uh, uh, technically not. Have you ever caught a good guy like a, like a real superhero? I dropped a few PCs before. Good enough. Have you ever tried a disguise? Oh, man! 
You are all stupendously annoying. All right, I can see that I will have to teach you how to be villains. I understand what you mean, but we are not your targets. Do you really want to be ousted by a Linux guy and PC guy empire? Linux guy empire? Blair! I must chase those fools on the run. It's a massive task. I mean you'd help. I'm assisting on the quest, and it will result in tech tips. Will you come with me? Yes! We are number one! I see you have obtained a new bridge. I did not. However, the PC guys decided to break the bridge with a lot of slate and so had to rebuild it. It is incredibly foolish as now I cannot block the entire bridge without sidestepping. Anyway, you must still all answer my questions 3. You do realize there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of us and the creatures? I have stopped many larger empires and groups before. Oh sod. I have to be here all day, I will be here all day. What an annoying fool you are. What? Is your name? MacGuy3135. What? Is your quest? To stop the PC and Linux guy empires from forming an alliance. What? Is the dip man's favorite type of wood? Birch, how easy. Acceptable, you may pass the bridge. We must hurry, we cannot afford to lose this much time. Who else wishes to answer my questions three and cross the bridge? I will if you ask the three questions all at once for my friends and I. An acceptable compromise. Ask me the questions then. I am not afraid. What? Is your name? Quest and circumference of your arms. Dealies, to stop the PC and Linux Alliance and 47 centimeters. Oh strong! You may pass! What? Is your name? Quest in the capital of Ireland? Jasmine, to stop the PC and Linux Alliance in Dublin. Correct, and you can cross. How excellent. What? Is your name? Quest and hide. Jane, to stop the PC and Linux Alliance and 232 centimeters. How tall? You may pass. How excellent. What? Is your name? Quest and Sponsor? Linus Sebastian, to stop the PC and Linux Alliance, and this video was brought to you by Squarespace. How oh, will this ask? You can cross the bridge. It was also brought to you by Skillshare. How Isaac Arthur. What? Is your name? Quest and the number of angles in an octagon. 
Jack Black to stop the PC and Linux Alliance and eight awesome angles. How direct! Cross the bridge! Octagons are epic. What? Is your name? Question one is the synodic day length of Mercury. Whoopi Watson? To stop the PC and Linux Sky Alliance, 136 days. Hey, 176 days. How knowledgeable! You may pass. What? Is your name? Quest and favorite YouTube channel? Jim. To stop the PC and Linux Alliance and Isaac Arthur. You can cross this bridge! What an on fool. What? Is your name? Question 1 is the second most common element in the universe. Kate, to stop the PC and Linux Alliance and Helium. You may pass. Which one of you will answer my questions first? Very well. What? Is your name Quest and where do dragons come from? You may all pass. I take no victims this day. finally arrived, I see. I agree. What a bunch of late fools. At least there are a lot of you. I agree. How typical considering my botheration to do tat. So, about the Alliance. Yes, I desire the information you have discovered. I have some bad news. I have obtained definite proof that the Empires are collaborating. Oh blast. A most terrible situation indeed. What leads you to believe an alliance is definitely going to happen? I intercepted a copy of a letter that the leader of the Linux Guy Empire, Diana, sent to King PC Guy. What's it about? It appears that King PC Guy asked Diana and the leader of each Linux faction to join him and his advisors in a meeting at the PC room of his new castle. May I read the letter? Here it is. The letter says, to King PC Guy. I will happily accept your offer of a meeting between my faction leaders and I and the key PC guys. I shall travel to your castle with the leaders at a point in time TM. It is clear that an alliance is going to occur. We must stop them. And how do we do that? We are unable to take down two empires alone. There are simply too many of them. And getting the other Mac guys against two empires will be a death sentence for them and their species. They have practically no weapons. And the Linux guys have much more modern weapons than the PC guys as they have weaponized high explosives. In order to defeat both of these empires at once, we must turn them against each other, make them destroy themselves. So we spark a war between the PC and Linux guy empires and they end up annihilating each other. Exactly. The victorious empire should have been weakened to a few injured members. We can take them out ourselves and cause both empires to become extinct. Returning Maxi to your fellow Mac guys. How exactly do we spark this war? That I do not know. We should leave now and start working. We cannot waste time if this meeting is close. I agree. 
Let's ask everyone we possibly can for clues of anything that can spark this war. Other Mac guys. The Witch. The Troll. Grand. Oh yeah he fell in the gorge R.I.P. Let's just start this quest now. Hello PC guys, I have called this meeting as I have obtained a response to the letter I sent to Diana regarding this meeting and collaborating. Why did this take so long? The first letter failed to reach us it seems, I had to send out another one to ask again. How odd. What does the letter state? The letter reads, to King PC Guy, I will happily accept your offer of a meeting between my faction leaders and I am the key PC guys. I shall travel to your castle with the leaders at a point in time TM. It appears Diana has accepted our offer to meet up. How glorious. We should start to think of what we should say in the meeting. You do want the empires to join right. If we work together and form a union, it will mean we are stronger than if we were separate. It will also mean we will never waste resources fighting against an empire which shares quite a fair few views and values with us. They use the same hardware we did before we invented our own. Also, both empires despise Max and Mac OS. Linux guys also believe in the ability to build your own computer, and modify it as you like. We can work well together. They agree with the right to repair, and desire a strong upgrade path. If this union works, we can gather together other similar empires we may find on other planets and grow larger and stronger, eventually creating an unstoppable union that can illiterate disobeying fools and take over the universe. I agree there may be much larger empires out there that can only be obliterated or negotiated with if we were a union. Indeed this may be the case with some of the countries that allegedly exist on the planet of Earth. We should begin with the Linux guys. I shall start to think about what I will say in the meeting and will feed my ideas back to you. Excellent. Are you? I am the legendary Boltani. And I am Strange Lion. Is that your full name? I have no name. So you are strange, and you are a lion. Indeed, I have wisdom and power above the average lion, and my mate Boltani can change size. Well, how muscular, even more so than me. That is indeed impressive and probably very useful. So, Strange Lion, what brings you directly outside this tree? Well we were stealthily traversing this thick part of the forest, and we overheard you discussing about a certain collaboration of PC and Linux guys. That is bad news. I know of a friend here who may assist. We need something that can turn the Empire to war against each other. That is the only way I think we can defeat the Empires. We do not have the strength by ourselves. I have. And that was not even my largest form. Balktani be quiet. The PC guys could hear us. Who is this friend of yours? A mysterious and strange old man who has apparently known Maxi longer than all of us have been alive. His name is long and mystical too, Pesemifuser. And he knows about the possible coalition of the empires? He does not. However he is wiser than even I am and is very likely to be able to find something somewhere that can turn this collaboration on its head like you desire. Who is this Fusemum and Superman guy like? He is almost a century old, skilled with both his hands and with weapons, completely blind and very tall, probably as tall as this extremely tall fool next to Balkany here. Very well then, we need all the help we can get, lead us to this Fusma pass man of use fool.
Are you and why do you wish to meet me? We are fools who dislike the PC guy empire and we require assistance. What? Is happening that requires my assistance? The PC and Linux guys are planning to form an alliance. Oh dear. That is exceptionally terrible news indeed. Do you know of anything we could do about it? There is still hope, if I am not mistaken. Throughout my travels across this continent I have heard of a carving that exists somewhere. The discovery and presentation to the PC guys of such a carving may turn this upside down and lead to strife between the empires. My acquaintances and I are however unsure of the resting place of this carving. Does absolutely no one you know of possess the location of said carving? Or how to get there at all? I have asked every being who may know on this planet, even the witch did not know and her spell to know was unsuccessful. It appears that all knowledge of its location has been erased somehow. I tried asking the troll, but he started asking me questions instead, and threatened to cast me in the gorge. I wish that blasted fool would be eliminated. So do we have to search the entire planet to find it? Unfortunately it is the only thing I can think of that may help us here. Nothing else would persuade the leaders of the empires to hate each other so much. It's hard evidence quite literally set in stone. Unfortunately I fear that by the time we have found it, they would have already joined forces. You speak very verbosely. We are in a hurry. Ah! Do you wish for my assistance or not? I I agree. Then take in every word I utter and feel grateful for it. Some short temper you have. You want to talking to as well? <laughs> Blast, let's forget about that. Oh dear. This is not getting us anywhere. We are supposed to be causing arguments between the empires, not ourselves. You just told us that by the time we find it they may have joined forces. So let's get on with it. We must make haste if we are to search the planet and find the bloody thing before it's too late. Oh blast. We have no idea how to proceed. I know the empires will collaborate for certain. This lion knew of the existence of this fuse mafool and the fuse mafool knew of a carving that can solve our problems. The problem we have here is that no one in this huddle of intellectuality knows of the location of the damned thing. This is a sodding long chain of events with no complete outcome and my head hurts. You didn't bump it on that massive tree on the way here, did you? Shut your ass, sis. This carving will put the strife between the empires that everyone here so very much desires. However, I have never before witnessed such an example of the arisement of memory as I have with the resting point of it. Bloody nor this conversation has gone on too long. We must go forward somehow. If we start moving, we are more likely to find anything that can tell us the clue we require. I agree. We must proceed forward immediately. Sod. It appears we have forgotten to go the right way. Can we just pass through this thing, rather than going across the gorge and pass that bastard of a troll? I am afraid not. The only way anyone has got past this was myself when I blew a hole in it with a Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Can you throw your current phone at the thing? This iPhone 10 is immune to blowing up. This is the only time owning a Samsung phone will be better. I disagree. Samsung is superior to Apple and Tim Cook is a fool and a fish. If you like Samsung so much, do you happen to possess a Note 7? Those were recalled, you fool. All I have is an S8. Sod, those also don't blow up. You may not be able to get past this fence, but you know someone who can. Me? No, you small fool. Myself. I demand you hold on. Ha 
Town on Foolish. Let's continue. Finally, something interesting. We have been traveling across this vast area between the fences for days now. This place is intriguing. We should attempt to enter. Be cautious though. Hold on guys. We have not got everyone here yet. You fools wait here. Myself, Anonymous, Strange Lion. Delis and Mac Guy 3135 shall brave this structure. I have never seen such a building before. Despite obviously being inhabited, it looks old, significantly older than the castles that dot this land left behind by the Mac Earldoms. Mac Earldoms? Once on this planet, the Mac guys were the inhabitants of the Empire, not PC guys. They had a network of small city-states, each lead by an Earl. The population was too small to keep up with the Mac guys' complicated reproductive cycle, and they were forced back years ago. I know about all of this. Get on with it. Well, I don't. Looks like someone isn't leaving there in one piece. Whoa there, little one. Do not kill the fool. I am sure he was not that angry with me. Oh, I would have torn you apart if I wasn't so rudely interrupted. Enough, you fools. Even I cannot be bothered with this. Where were we? Describing this building? Ah yes, you stated the structure is well maintained, and not in ruins like the Earldom Castles, it therefore probably contains something or someone living in it that may be able to help us, whether it is the carving or otherwise. Well shall we go further in and take a look? An excellent idea. What a large temple lacking in useful information. It appears we have been taken on a misleading course. We should turn around. It appears there is bugger all in here. Bollocks, we will never get to this carving before the empires unite. Hold up there. I heard the word. Carving? Indeed you did oh mystical one, we are all looking for one. We have sir, for quite some time. Ages. Is this, the legendary carving of Linux? The legendary carving of Linux exactly, I knew what it was referred to as, just could not remember it. Who are you and how did you know that? I am Winston Wallace. I was taken captive by the yellow skinned aliens which seem to populate this world. I, however, escaped, along with some others who were fortunate enough to survive the near total annihilation of the castle which we were imprisoned in. Many of us got lost, or died. One apparently birch-loving person got lost even before we fled past the border fence. Along with some other person, the different accent he appeared to be somewhat friends with, the remnants of the group which I was a part of, and ended up leading, decided to settle here, in this log-abandoned temple. Interesting. 
I did indeed find out that many prisoners fled from the inhabitants of this world, known as PC guys, when their castle was blown away, but I did not know where they ended up. I witnessed it firsthand, you fool. Many prisoners left, to where I did not know, until now. How have you been sustaining yourselves? We have found the surrounding area with seeds which seem to have come from Earth somehow. I've got some water from a small stream only a fraction of a kilometre away. We've had to live off fire and wind and such. No electricity out here, and no phone charging. We have no knowledge of what is going on on Earth, or even in this world outside of our little area. We do not even know how many years we have been stuck here, or if this planet even has years. This is all very intriguing, and I am glad I am not the only human left on this planet of Maxi these days. I can tell you you have been living here for around one and three quarter Earth years. However, we still wish to obtain knowledge relating to this carving you managed to name. Is this the carving we seek? Indeed, this is the carving that could tip the balance and cause full-on war. Why are you in such dire and desperate need of this carving? My research has strongly proved that the Empire currently residing on this planet, the one that imprisoned you, and another Empire on another planet in this solar system, containing the Linux guys, are going to join forces to create a stronger union together, we must stop this, other Mac guys and the stability of this planet and potentially others, even Earth, depend on it. And that carving is the only way to stop them. With knowledge of what it reads, they will destroy each other. We cannot defeat Shrink these empires alone, that is why we are in desire of that carving. And so what will my reward be for telling you about this carving? The carving may well lead to the empires, including the one that imprisoned you, being wiped out. I could also tell you how to return to Earth, however my friends here will likely be reluctant to allow me to do that, as we do not know whether or not you would expose the Mac and PC guys to the humans on Earth. Very well. I know of a cave. The cave that contains the carving. This cave exists. It exists in the location of somewhere on Maxi. The legendary carving of Linux is engraved in its walls. I am afraid that is not of much help to us. There must be thousands of caves on this planet. We cannot check every one. So not even you, who could remember the sodding name of the carving, knows its precise location and you could only narrow it down to a cave. That I do not. You fool. There is, however, some consolidation. What is this then? Tell us, oh useful being. I don't know where it is, but I still know how to get there. Knowledge still exists of its trail. It does, however, involve traveling a long distance, solving many riddles, breaking codes, and gathering clues, potentially meeting other enemies along the way. But it is the only way to find the location of this legendary carving. Whoever carved the blasted thing managed to erase all living memory of its location. I think, as a group, we can manage that. I don't know about the tired fools outside. Dillis, I will deal with that bunch later, likely leaving them behind as they are no use to us at the moment. For now we use our opportunity and listen to the instructions from this fool on how to find this bloody carving. Listen carefully. The following instructions will tell you exactly how to obtain the location of the legendary carving of Linux. These instructions are complicated and there are many stages to them. They require you to gather words and get more words from those. Getting just one part wrong will lead to the final answer making no sense. Are you ready for the instructions? These instructions are... Get on with it. Shut up. Do you want these instructions or not? Ignore those short-tempered ignoramuses. I will listen. You can talk yourself, you long-winded fool. Something tells me you do not even have the stability amongst yourselves to find this carving. But here we go. I will tell you what I know. Along a path from the south of the Empire, to the far reaches of the most mysterious forgotten settlement that exists on this planet, are five notable areas. Some are old abandoned castles, others just landmarks. Each of these may have obtained a being, and will have a riddle somewhere in them. Solving the riddles will give you three words. Insert the words into phone application bot three words to locate the places that exist on Earth. There also happen to be named words in English. Stringing the five place words together will describe a distinctive location which you should recognize. The entrance to the cave is located somewhere there. That is all I can say. 
that has been noted. How are you even aware of all this? And how all memory of it was erased? When you don't even know who imprisoned you. I, and at least one other person along those who escaped and survived, overheard this while imprisoned. What is the location of the other escaped fools? And the other fool who overheard this? In other rooms. Can you call over the other one? I desire evidence before embarking on such a lengthy expedition. Sure. A <laughs> What is it you want? It appears we have visitors. They want to know the location of the legendary carving of Linux. If they do so, they can clear this planet of the fools who imprisoned us. They want to hear from more than one, however, as the trip is long and hard. Very well. I am Adrian Appleby, a scientist from Earth who was kidnapped here a while ago when we were looking into the mysterious disappearance of people at a field. I overheard one of our yellow skin foes wearing a policeman hat muttering to himself, as did Winston, as we were in close cells discussed the fact he left a carving that could only be found by himself, as he had erased all knowledge of its location, including his own, however he wrote himself a trail beforehand, allowing him to find it when it was needed, he was such an idiot he verbally explained the trail, along with the name of the carving, we noted all this down and remembered it as we thought it may be useful, the trail he told- I've already told the fools, they don't need all that again as they are clearly in a hurry, all they needed to know was that more than one of us overheard it and I did not just make some nonsense up to get them out of my temple, yes, what we told you is true, Thank you for your assistance. I agree. You should go now and embark on your quest. What was all that again? There is such a thing as... A notes app. You expect us lions to know technology? Leave! Yes, so right away sir. Everyone exit. That took some time. Son, strange lion, what did you discover? I can't remember, but he can. I have made a note on what we need to do to find the carving. Dewey's, why is that man unconscious? He was being annoying. And let me guess what happened, you attacked him. Correct. You fool. You should probably revive the fool. Do I have to? Yes. Isn't that short fool actually useful to us? Oh yes. Right, let's organize you all before we accidentally turn ourselves against each other instead of the bloody empires. Dillus, Baltany, Strange Lion, Persemophuser and Ananamuz come with me, Linus, Jack, Robbie Rotten, Jasmine, Jane, Mumdad and the creatures go back to the border fence, wait for us to return with the carving. Go not through as you will then encounter the troll, and we know both any here can get past the fans. That's all well and good but how the hell are we supposed to live? We have already been eating off the little supplies of the natural land for days. If we do not get proper food and clean water before long we will either starve or poison ourselves. A good point. Which one of you is the most knowledgeable? Robbie Rotten knew the day length of Mercury. I agree. But that is insignificant compared to the wealth of knowledge possessed by Isaac Arthur. Who the hell is that fool you keep going on about? Isaac Arthur is an epic YouTube channel which consists of 25 to 30 minute videos mostly regarding futurism. Perfect. Once every now and again, Dad will face the troll and gather supplies from my fellow Mac guys. This should keep you provisioned for the time we are away. Camp out in the rooms of the fence towers. They are the only shelter this side of the gorge. Acceptable. I knew my knowledge of this Arthur material would soon be of use. Why don't I just go with them and get them over the fence so they can live with the mad guys? The Empire is too much of a detour. If you help them and then return to help us, I am afraid too much time will have been wasted. We need your help as it was said we will meet other fools along the way and so we may need all the fighting power we have. And you are most of that. Excuse me? Dillis shut up you may be able to hit but you can't change sizes we don't know how dangerous the beings will be. You stand no chance against anything supernatural. You doubt my strength. Plus it's dangerous for all of them to go into the empire alone. They may get lost or caught by a knight and imprisoned. If only dad goes close, the target is small. And even if he is caught, 
Someone else can fulfill that role and he will not be imprisoned for long as we plan to destroy the Empire anyway. Very well. I will come with you. I will also ask again, what did you discover? We found more humans in the temple. They told us the clues were laid out along the path from the PC Guy Empire to the farthest out Macarildums. We can intercept said path if we go due southwest of the Empire, I believe, but that means crossing the gorge in a different place which does not have a bridge. The gorge should have leveled out enough by then. It is not that deep all the way along. Baltany, how tall are you at your largest form? 18 meters, but I can reach over 30 on my back legs like this. That's taller than the first three PC guy castles. Impressive. If we head south down a path that's not too far away from here, I believe, it starts at the Robbie Rotten Fortress, and is called Rotten Path we will hit the loopback path which meets the gorge at a point in which we should be able to cross it by jumping on Bulbtony. It's only around 20 to 25 meters deep at the end of that path, a height Bulbtony says she is easily able to obtain. The other side of the gorge here will put us almost next to, to the long path to the Earldom of Lisa, one of the furthest Mac Earldoms the clues, and possibly the cave itself. What about this other path that goes south from this temple? Surely that will reach the southwestern path first and save us going round the Robbie Rotten Fortress again? That path is unlabeled on maps and is totally unsigned. It may be quite dangerous or obstacle ridden. You know more about the paths here than I do. I used to be king here you know. The Earldoms were on their way out by then, but I still visited them all at least once. Back then I had other Mac guys to help me, and my stagecoach. Either way I think it is beneficial for us to begin our quest to safely meet this path towards the desired earldom, and therefore the clues. I will also take the boat from the ATM that we kept and thereafter we used it to help destroy the lion's heartstone. If we find any rivers along the way, it may speed up our progress. We will remain here for a day to relax and recover from this long walk. We are about to walk multiples of that distance, you lazy fools. Get on with it.